Let's play the musical alphabet. Today we're gonna to be going through musical theater song selections for females, A to Z. I'm T.L. Baker, if we haven't met yet, I'm a vocal instructor and performing artist in musical theater, and I help performers gain vocal confidence with my audition technique and my vocal techniques. Let's dive in. So A, Another Life from Bridges of Madison County is by Jason Robert Brown. Another life. It's this sweeping melodic song, absolutely gorgeous. B, Beauty Is from Light in the Piazza, an incredible operatic inspired musical by Adam Gattel, who's the composer, and fun fact, grandson of composer Richard Rogers. If you haven't heard this musical, I highly recommend looking into it. C, Call Me Savage from Fade In, Fade Out. This is a comedic song that is hilarious. Originally performed by Carol Burnett and her expertise of comedic timing. So if you're looking for a funny song that's under the radar, Call Me Savage is hilarious. D, Dancing All the Time from Big the Musical. Based on the movie with Tom Hanks, they turned that hit movie into a musical. This is a really fun, up-tempo, kind of bouncy song. So I'm a dancer and this is all material that I sing in my repertoire book. And this is a really fun song. I'll be dancing all the time. I'll be laughing all the time. So it's written by Malt B and Shire, and they also wrote Baby, another incredible musical you should look into. There's some great songs in there. Story Goes On is another little great song, but we haven't gotten to S yet. So we're just on D, dancing all the time from Big the Musical. E, Electricity from Billy Elliot. This song is a wonderful storytelling song. If you're looking for a ballad that is inspirational, when you dance or when you do what lights you up, there's a fire inside and in how you feel this spark of energy when you do what you love. Billy Elliot was written by Elton John, so it's considered a rock musical. So if you're looking for material in the rock genre, Electricity is a really fun song. F, Flush Down the Pipes from Great American Trailer Park Musical. I gotta tell you, this song is so funny. And so she's talking about her relationship and how her partner just walked out on her and her relationship has been flushed down the pipes. And then the backup singers come in with these, you know, plungers and they sing. And so it's a comedy, it's a spoof and a satire, and it's really funny if you're looking for something a little quirky, also under the radar. Well, it's a pop musical, but it's not as mainstream as you would say, you know, Hamilton and Wicked. So check that out. Great American Trailer Park Musical, Flush Down the Pipes. G, Good Night My Someone from Music Man. Classic musical theater at its best. Meredith Wilson's Music Man was just revived on Broadway with Sutton Foster and Hugh Jackman. And it's doing pretty well. Uh, some of the arrangements are new for this show in the orchestrations, but Good Night My Someone is a beautiful ballad about wishing upon a star and hoping that, and knowing, not just hoping, but knowing that your true love is out there. Good night, my someone. Good night, my love. So it does have a classical training edge. So if you're looking to expand your soft palette and sing in your upper register, Good Night My Summon from Music Man is a great selection for you. H, Home. Now we have four musicals with the title song Home. And I'm gonna just let you know all of them because I sing all of them. So we have Home from Beauty and the Beast. Is this home? Is this what I must learn to believe in? And it's a beautiful sweeping melody where she's now prisoner. So she's freaked out. She's looking around at this dreary place. She's like, what have I done? I wish I was back home. And then we have Home from The Wiz. It was starring Michael Jackson and Diana Ross. So she sings Home 
and it's this gorgeous, gorgeous melody. Then we have Home from Maury Yeston's Phantom. Yes, believe it or not, it's not the same Phantom of the Opera, it's Phantom. Now, Weber's Phantom of the Opera and Yeston's Phantom came out the same year. Uh-huh. Same bass material, but different books and different scores. So if you haven't heard Home from Maury Yeston's Phantom, check it out. And the very last Home is from Wonderland. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, sweeping, inspirational melody line. Check that out. I, it's an art from working. So working is a musical, a collaboration of many composers that came together and produced a musical all about the jobs that people have. There's like a trucker, there's a waitress, there's a grocer clerk, there's a newsboy. And so it's an art is about a waitress. And she talks about how you know, she's an amazing waitress. So she's like, it's an art, it's an art to be a fine waitress, to see that you pleasure each guest. There's a twist to my wrist if I let a fork drop or cut up a pork chop or serve a New York chop. It all needs to be stylish and smart. That's what makes it an art. So that's an art. It's a fun character song. So if you're looking for something up-tempo, and really fun to perform. Like you can really dig into the staging of this song and the character and personality. J, just for tonight from there playing our song. This is a Marvin Hamlish musical. He also wrote the music to a chorus line, yeah. So this is a Neil Simon book. So there's some great monologues and it's a two person musical, really, really funny. Uh, but this song is a sentimental ballad just for tonight. K, Killer Instincts from Bring It On the Musical. Hilarious song. Oh my goodness. This song is ferocious. So she's Campbell's nemesis. And she is like the Easter Bunny, but a villain. <laughs> she's a two-face, okay? So she's like really sweet and but I'm going to really take her down and, you know, I'm going to get rid of her. So it's very Valley Girl. Super funny. You know, you need those killer instincts to give you the nerve to grab everything you want in life but may not deserve. Like if some girl's in your way, there's only one thing to do. You blackmail your mother who sits on the school board to get Campbell transferred and ripped from the life that she knew. And then your dreams come true. Really funny. So check that one out. If you haven't heard of Killer Instincts from Bring It On The Musical, that is our K song for the alphabet today. L, look what happened to Mabel from Mac and Mabel. This is a musical starring Bernadette Peters. This was one of her early musicals that she starred in. I followed her career and she's one of my favorite performers. It's about a young girl wanting to be in the movies. She lands her big role and then she sings this song. See that fascinating creature with perfection stamped on every feature. She was plain little Nelly, the kid from the deli, but mother of God, look what happened to Mabel. I highly recommend singing the song, Look What Happened to Mabel from Mac and Mabel. All right, tell me, what are you thinking? Have you checked out some of these songs? If so, like and subscribe. And in the comments below, tell me what are your favorite songs? Did you check out any of these on the list? Let me know. M. Me and the Sky from Come Fly Away. This musical is so incredible. And I first heard this song and I'm like, what, what is this musical? And it's pretty incredible. So this is by Hein and Sankoff. Those are the composers of this musical. And if you're looking for a challenge lyrically, this is your song. So it's, she's talking about her career 
being a pilot and all the different planes that she flew and how people didn't believe that a woman could be a pilot. And she's like, I did it. And, and there's some really great music in there. Lots of lyrics. So if you're looking for fast lyrics, great storyline and some belting, check out Me in the Sky. So this is a lyric song. It's a gorgeous ballad. Um, so she's, let's sing a little bit. First time I heard your voice, moonlight burst into the room and I saw your eyes and I saw your smile and the world opened wide. And how she's talking about no one else. I can love no one else. Oh, on the steps of the palace from Into the Woods. Sondheim's incredible song of Cinderella, and she's just come from the ball. And if you're looking for a Sondheim song that is challenging, comedic, soprano, ingenue, this is your song. On the steps of the palace. And like she's walking around with her one shoe, you know, because she got one of them stuck in the tar. Uh, this is an incredible song for learning tempo and staying on the beat. And if you're looking for a challenge, learn this song because timing in this song is critical. So looking for a challenge, sing On the Steps of the Palace from Into the Woods by Stephen Sondheim. P, possibilities. The real title of the song is You've Got Possibilities from It's a Bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. So this is an Adams and Strauss musical. They're the composers and lyricists. And this is Lois Lane looking over Clark Kent being like, haircut, simply terrible, necktie, oh, the worst, bearing, what unbearable, what to tackle first still. You've got possibilities, maybe even a lot. I see possibilities. Super cute. And it's a really fun up-tempo song, a little belty, really fun music. It's a bird. It's a plane. You've got possibilities. Check out that song for an up-tempo. Q, Quiet Thing. Real title is It's a Quiet Thing from Candor and Ebb's Flora the Red Menace. This is a ballad. It's a beautiful song. Liza Minnelli sings this. It's a quiet thing. Ba -da -dee -da -da. A little bit of a haunting melody in this song and gorgeous. Check out It's a Quiet Thing from Floor of the Red Menace. R, Right Hand Man from Something Rotten. This is a comedic up-tempo song and it's a character song. So if you're looking for something fun, this is it. And she's trying to convince her husband and be like, dude, I'm your right hand man. Stop being so, stop being so literal. Uh, he's like, but you're a woman. And she's like, stop being so literal. There's some really, really intelligent lyrics in this song. So check out, let me be your right hand man. S, some things are meant to be from Little Women. This is a gorgeous ballad. And it's a song about the end of life and acceptance in that and taking a moment to be grateful for all the beautiful things that are in life. Let's pretend we're riding on a kite. Let's imagine we're flying through the air we'll ascend until we're out of sight light as paper will soar gorgeous 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 check out some things are meant to be from little women t a trip to the library from she loves me really really fun cute song and it's a comedic song and it's kind of mid-tempo and it's definitely charactery. And so she's at the library and she meets this handsome man and he's so smart and he's got his glasses and she doesn't really read. 
Um, she's not an intellectual, but he is. A Trip to the Library is a great selection from She Loves Me for a mid-tempo comedic song. You, unexpected song from Song and Dance. It's an Andrew Lloyd Webber song, and it was originally a duet. And then they put it into Bernadette Peters' show, Song and Dance, as the big second act ballad. Like an unexpected song, an unexpected song, that only we are hearing. It's gorgeous. Get ready for long phrases in this song. Because like Andrew Weber likes to write, it's uh, the similar melody, but then like it changes key. And it also has the same melody for all the verses. So it can be a challenge to memorize, but it's a gorgeous song. You, unexpected song from Song and Dance. V, vacation from Head Over Heels. This is the Go-Go's musical. Vacation I'll ever wanted. Vacation, how did you get away? If you're looking for a pop up-tempo song that is a jukebox musical slash radio pop song, Go Go's musical Head Over Heels has some really fun music. And it's Vacation by the Go Go's. W, What I Did for Love from a Chorus Line by Marvin Hamlish incredible heartfelt song that i recommend every female sing kiss today goodbye the sweetness and the sorrow we did what we had to do and i won't forget what i did for love what I did for love. Beautiful song. What I did for love, a chorus line, is my W selection for this alphabet song list. X. Xanadu. It was hard to find a song that started with X. And then I thought of Olivia Newton-John's Xanadu. And I'm like, that's going to be it. So check out Xanadu, which is a roller skating musical, a comedic musical. Xanadu is my X selection. Why? You don't own me. I'm not just one of your many toys. You don't own me. Don't say I can't go with other boys. And don't tell me what to do. And don't tell me what to say. And please, when I go out with you, don't put me on display. You don't own me. So this is a song from the 60s. This is Leslie Gore, and it's from the musical Beehive not Hairspray, Beehive. So this is a, another jukebox musical. This takes you through the 50s music, 60s music, and 70s music. So there's like Dusty Springfield, there's The Supremes, and Leslie Gore, and her You Don't Own Me from the 60s musical, Beehive. Z, Zorba the Greek, the musical, Life Is by Kander and Ebb, is my final selection. It's an up-tempo, belty song that is great because it's a little less known. I like to find songs that are a little under the radar. So life is. Thank you so much for watching. I'm T.L. Baker, vocal instructor and performing artist. And I hope you enjoyed this A to Z list today. Like and subscribe to my channel for more information on singing, musical theater, and audition rep and audition technique. Thanks for watching. Bye.